Well, it's August 27th, and this is the clover food plot. I figured I'd come down here and show you guys what it looked like after I did the sleigh and after I mowed it. If you guys have a, a clover food plot and it's gone south on you, I mean, I think mowing is the biggest thing. Um, when I, after I mowed mine, it made a huge difference. So if you have a mower, go ahead and mow it, and you'll be surprised with the results. Also, the uh, sleigh and the rest, it doesn't cost that much. You're, you're probably gonna have 100 bucks in the two, plus you're gonna need a surfactant. So maybe 120 bucks. It's not that bad though, it's, it's worth every penny. And that's to do one acre. So if you have a food plot like that, a clover plot, don't give up. Just go ahead and do those few things and I mean, it'll end up looking like this and I'm no professional, that's for sure. Or if you're thinking about doing a clover food plot, they're really not that hard. And now in the fall, this is the best time I think to do them. And you can use that winter rye like I planted up here. You can use that as a cover crop. That works really well. Just come back the next year and mow that winter rye down. You probably want to turn up the ground if you're going to do clover. Now here's the food plot that I sprayed the other day. It's been like, I think three days now. Now luckily with this here, we did get the rain that I was talking about. We got it, we got two days of rain after I planted that. So it's got plenty of moisture available for that to grow. So just got to wait for this stuff to die, fall down and let the winter rye come back up. There's a pile of it on the ground right here, but I don't see anything. Now, you can see it's starting to grow already. Where is that? And you can even see some of them here. So it doesn't take very long for it to sprout once it gets wet. I assume here in a few days that'll already be coming up a little bit and at the same time that'll start to die. I gotta go check that trail camera. Like I said, the food plot's not perfect, but compared to what it looked like early this spring, I, mean, I think I did a pretty good job. It's a lot of work and timing is everything. I mean, that's all there is to it. Timing is everything, especially with the weather. You gotta have the right weather. So you might not be able to mow right away. You might not be able to spray. So when you do get the right conditions, you gotta, you gotta get on it or it's not gonna happen. So here it is. And it goes up this way here too. I think it looks pretty nice. It's, my feet are soaking wet. I was gonna wear shoes, but what's the point? Um, arms killing me from holding this camera for 22 minutes and 34 seconds. I must not shut that off once. Huh. If you have a clover plot that's looking pretty rough, get your. I think the first thing I do is get the mower, and or I guess you can do whatever you want. Do however you want. It's it's your own food plot. Um, but get the sleigh and the rest. Use that on it. Mow it, and you'll be surprised. I mean, look at this thing looks like. I should get a pretty good shot of this so I can make a thumbnail. But I'd like to put like before and after. I'm just trying to think of where I've mowed, where I got it on film, and uh, slice and dice for a nice thumbnail. Well, there you have it. There's the food plot. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do this year to it. It's the end of August. I'm just gonna let it grow up as much as it can here before you know, the weather cools down. We'll see what happens. Um, check the trail camera here. and I haven't had a ton of deer on this yet. If I, really, if I did have 
a choice for, you know, different food plots. I don't really know what I would do. I guess I'm, I'd just stick with the clover. The winter rye works great. Turnips didn't work great for me like I thought they would. This is just getting way too long. I gotta, I gotta quit talking. All right, guys. Well, there's the clover update. My clover project for the year, really. Uh, it's just been getting away from me. If you don't maintain your clover plot, it's just not going to work. That's all there is to it. So maybe if I do anything else, I'll come in here and overseed this. That's something I might do. Doesn't really look like it needs, though. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, see you next time here.